Hi guys and welcome back to another Semprinter TV video. In today's video, myself and Bill Al Murza are going to react to a crazy free all draw with Sassuolo. Hey Cami, thank you for having me on today. Unfortunately, not a very good result to talk about today for Inter. 3-3 at the end, dropping two points uh, and potentially dropping out of the Scudetto race altogether if you didn't already, now we certainly have. Uh, with with uh, such a massive churn in the starting lineup by Conte, uh, there was bound to be issues and uh, Sassuolo have troubled us in the recent past. They continue doing that today after a poor performance against Atalanta. They were going to come out swinging and they just did just that. They knew that we like to play from the back. De Rai was not starting, so they've kept the pressure on us. Ranocchio is not very good while playing out the back and comfortable on the ball. That was an issue with the engine of Barella missing in the midfield. There were going to be gaps where Borhaber just doesn't have the legs to cover the ground like Barella can. And Gagliardini as well, another poor performance, and he has been disappointing. I was hoping that he would be a solid role player with better quality players around him, but he hasn't done that. And another poor performance from him. Because of that loss of momentum and not being able to play out the back through the middle, it really put us off uh, our game in terms of uh, uh, offensive buildup. We were trying the long balls route, trying to play the ball directly to Ericsson uh, and Lukaku and Sanchez, trying to bypass the midfield, and we couldn't get anything going offensively. Right from the start at four minute mark, conceding a goal against Caputo, that was really a result of poor marking between Biragi, uh, Gagliardini, and Bastoni. But we somehow magically ended the first half um, ahead by a goal which was tremendous, but we didn't build up on that. Second half, uh, Gagliardini, poor performance yet again, more on that. He, he did us a little something which shocked everybody. We'll talk, we'll get to that just in a little bit. Um, however, Ashley Young came coming on, uh, uh, Agomi coming on with a positive performance, Lotaro coming on for Alexis Sanchez, connecting with Lukaku like we expected, immediately giving us a boost. We, 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 we drew level, conceded a gap penalty, uh, got ahead again but conceded yet again and in all of this uh, mess of a situation Ashley Young is a key failure because he has such a poor performance he conceded the penalty and then because of poor performance conceded the goal as well absolute horror show today unfortunately and hopefully we'll get better from this some great points raised there Bilal as for what I thought I mean it was the worst start we could have possibly asked for and it was just a just a series of errors that kind of cost us the really slow kind of reaction to just the general start of the move at the halfway line that wasn't looking anything too dangerous to then Ranocchia's rush to the head where he just ran. I, I can't remember who it was that played the ball, but absolutely needless. He was covered and left Caputo free to slot in. Obviously, Bastoni wasn't quick enough to stop him. And I mean, he was left with a problem that really shouldn't have been his. Um... We were absolutely all over the place in the first 15 minutes and I mean I was really worried at, at this stage it wasn't looking like we were kind of going to be that team that we've seen in the past two matches where it's looked kind of like we were the team from the start of the season. Things just really weren't kind of clicking and of course the fact that we'd massively rotated the team for this match didn't help a lot of kind of rusty players coming in and players who maybe aren't as used to the new system as players who've played recently are. Christian Eriksen, who's been key for us in recent games, was was rather quiet, barely had a touch of the ball, and I certainly think that we missed Nicolo Barella's engine in the midfield. Thankfully, and somehow we managed to find a way back into this game through a penalty, Romelu Lukaku scoring his 25th goal of the season, and I mean, just as well we got that, because I don't think we would have scored otherwise, and... I mean, that certainly gave us a temporary confidence boost soon after Cristiano Baraghi scored. And, I mean, really good finish, especially for a fullback and a, a lovely wee reverse pass from Alexis Sanchez. The second half, certainly a bit better. We were a little bit brighter. The Swallow weren't really in our face as much. And I, I think we certainly gained some defensive solidity when Andrea Ranocchia was replaced by Stefan de Vrij kind of shortly after the restart. I felt that we were very, very, very lucky not to concede a penalty when the ball came off Ashley Young's arm. Yes, Young is trying to move his arm away, but it's certainly something that we've seen given throughout the season. Um, unfortunately, there was absolutely no doubts about the penalty that Young would give away just moments later. I mean, just downright clumsy from him to, to clatter this Sassuolo player and... I mean, yeah, what, what can you really say about that? It wasn't ideal. We managed to... Get a goal that looked to be the winner through Borja Valero um, about five minutes to go. Um, and, I mean, it looked like we were going to go on, secure a win, an, an all-important win. But 
Inter being Inter, we managed to bottle it and we conceded moments later. And, I mean, I think it'd be fair to say that the slim title chances that we had prior to this game have completely gone now. And, I mean, I mentioned the heavy rotation. Whether we hadn't made that rotation, things would have panned out differently. I guess we'll never know. It's now time for the top and flop section. So, Bilal, what was your top of this week? For me, the top of the match was Alexis Sanchez. He was he got a rare start. A chemistry issue still there between Lukaku and him. It's not exactly kicking as well as Lukaku and Lotaro. However, he did have some good combination play where absolutely nothing was going for us on the offense. He managed to do some trickery, some dribbling here and there, creating the opportunity for Baraki to score uh, and really helping out as much as he can. He was running all over the pitch, doing it the best he could. Positive performance from him, so he was my top of the match. My flop this week would be Roberto Gagliardini, specifically for the for the miss he had during the second half. Ashley Young, as Bilal rightly explained, wasn't exactly fantastic when he came on as a substitute, but wow, Gagliardini's miss could quite possibly go down as one of the worst misses in football history. There is absolutely no excuse for him to miss that, and ultimately that miss, miss cost us if he... If he scored that goal, we would have went 3-1 up, and I firmly believe that we would have went on to see the game out. 